Bechtel test. But did you know that there's another test that's being used to track how gay people are represented? So this is probably more for completed projects and Cataclysm Begins is still in the pre-production phase, but I'm kind of curious to see based on the script if it will pass because for those who don't know, this web series is a queer-centric sci-fi dystopia and it's supposed to bring up the conversation about queer rights and what is happening, especially with everything going on like with the Don't Say Gay and everything. So I'm kind of curious if it would pass this test. Okay, starting off, the film contains a character that is identifiably lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and or queer. Yes. So the, we technically have two main characters. I guess three, but two. We have the twins, Kat, Catalina and Xavier. Catalina is asexual and Xavier is gay. Um, and then Catalina's best friend is gender fluid and bi. So next up. That character, so I, I'm just going to do based on the twins because they're technically equally the main character. That character must not solely be or predominantly be defined by their sexual orientation or gender identity. Yeah, no, we definitely try to avoid any and all stereotypes. Because I know some people still act like that, like some don't, but we're really trying to avoid, we really all just want to avoid any stereotypes even accidental like i've had this read like i was writing this even before i came out as bi myself and so i was making sure people that i knew who were queer would read it to make sure that i didn't accidentally put anything in that could accidentally be seen as a stereotype so the last one is the lgbtq character must be tied to the plot in such a way that the character's removal can't really read it have a what that removing the character would have a significant effect Oh, definitely. This film, like I said before, is a commentary on what's happening right now with gay rights and everything. So if you take away mainly Xavier, who is gay, he's got a he's also has a boyfriend, take them away. You you take away the conversation. So they definitely he especially ha definitely has a huge effect on the plot. Make sure to check out the TikTok that I stitched at the beginning and also this is where I got the test that I was reading off of. This is a really awesome website. I highly recommend it. It has really great resources. And before closing out, I saw this and it's just so incredible how far we have come when it comes to inclusion. We're still not perfect yet. There's still so much work that has to be done. But just seeing such a significance from 2012 until 2020, like it's just, it's so incredible. We're finally getting more representation and inclusion.